Yo, what's up, boy Ghost here? Today I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the PKM and RPD. And if you watched my last video, you would know that this video was it was coming. Like the way I was talking about the PKM in my last video, it would have been injustice of me for not posting this video because man, like I was I was gassing the PKM quite a bit in my last video, and I wanted to go into this discussion a lot deeper than you know what I was talking about in my last video. So here we are. And I gotta be honest, bro. When you guys hear the stats between these two weapons, bro, it's, it's going to be crazy, bro. Uh, you know, this this conversation is very, like, kind of deep to me because when the stunner got nerfed, uh, I felt like the PKM was going to be the LMG to rise up from the shadows, but it was actually the RPD. That's said the RPD is bad, but I just felt like the PKM got did dirty. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to get into that a little bit later. But before we do, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. on over to 2000. And again, we just hit like 1.84K. So we're about 160 subs away, so any sub would help. Also, if you guys could do me a favor of following me over on my Twitch channel, at always post underscore. We're two followers away from 210 followers. So again, that would also be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, man, let's get into this comparison. And here we have the recoil pattern for the PKM, and as you guys can see, it's pretty much a straight line. Obviously, if you let the gun go for the entirety of the 100 bullets, uh, it's going to go into the sky. But, you know, we're not going to do that. When you're using this gun and you put on your attachments, you're definitely going to be controlling this gun, and this gun is very easy to control. Um, and as you guys can see here, this is my new class setup with the PKM. If you guys watched my last PKM comparison, in that one, in that class setup, we had the sniper tape instead of the stock. And I wanted to use the stock to see if I could... Maybe make the PKM a little bit faster, and to be honest, I didn't really feel a difference. So I think stifled or the stock is the way to go, or maybe even a tank laser. I'm not really sure, but I feel like regardless, no matter what you put onto it, the difference is going to be very minimal, and it won't really matter. Uh, yeah. But anyways, man, this PKM is a weapon that it's just I, I can't understand why it's been neglected. Um, when the stoner or before it got nerfed, I felt like the PKM was better than the stoner, and when it got nerfed, I was like, okay, this is the time for the PKM to come out of the shadows. And when RPD was the gun that was getting leaned towards too, I was, I was very confused. Um, because it's not necessarily better than the PKM in just any statistic, statistical category, except for maybe like uh, mobility work, which we'll get into in a second. Um, but when it comes to damage and fire rate, it's not superior than the PKM. Um, and again, man, when you guys listen to the stats later on, bro, you're going to be very surprised. And so I don't really understand why the PKM was the gun to be singled out. I um, mean, the base guns, the PKM has 100 bullets, and then the RPD has 20 or 75. And I know that with the RPD, you could obviously increase the mag on your gun, but like for me personally, which we're going to a little bit, um, I just don't like I don't understand why we want to do that with the RPD or just the LMG in general because you're just going to become slower. And LMGs are just slow as is, and with no LMG necessarily having the hybrid mag like how the Bruin did. Like, all of these are just, if you up the mag on these weapons, yeah, obviously it's going to be better because you get more bullets before you have to have, do that slow as reload, but still, like, you're just, you risk losing a lot of mobility, and I'm not the type of guy to really give up mobility so easily, and especially since I already have a lot of ammo in my mag, I don't feel like I need to increase that mag. Um, but yeah, man, again, it's peak hand, bro, like, give it a chance, no, I actually... If you use the RPD, definitely give it a chance. I think this weapon is probably the best primary in the game at the moment. Um, it's definitely the closest to the stoner that we have at, in this current time. Or in this current moment of time, or whatever. Um, the RPD is a close second, but when you guys hear the stats, you're, you're going to see why the this PKM is the clear choice. But anyways, man, with that being said, let's get into the PKM. Oh, 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 the RPD. And stats. Oh, I messed up right there. An enemy team. And here we have the recoil pattern for the RPD. And as you guys can see, it's literally the exact same as the PKM. They both go in a straight line. They both shoot straight, and they're both very easy to control. Which honestly, I think for the sake of the game, this is one of a, a, like a negative and positive trait because it's positive in the sense that it makes these guns really good. But it's negative in the sense that overall, if everyone starts using these weapons, it's going to get very annoying very fast because they literally don't move Walking and they do a lot of damage. And to be honest, the fact that the stunner got nerfed for the same thing is like, I don't understand why these two weapons are as good as they are at the moment. But at the same time, I can understand because when the stunner was popular, it's not like these two weapons are necessarily being used a lot. And right now, um, the RPD isn't the clear cut meta. Yeah, some people are leaning towards it, but there's a lot of people that prefer other guns like the XM4. I can 47, even C58. I'm using a little bit of C58. So, 
you know, it doesn't allow these two weapons to necessarily be the dominant meta. Whereas the stoner, everyone was using it. It was everywhere, and it rightfully deserved a nerf. Right now, at the moment, I'm not going to say that the RPG and PK deserve nerfs, but if they become a dominant meta, then, you know, the opinion will change then. But anyways, man, moving over to the stats, the first stat that I want to get into is the fire rate, which we have a 750 RPM for the PKM, and then for the RPD, we have a 652 RPM. So obviously, they're a pretty big difference in fire rate. And fire rate obviously being a pretty significant factor between weapons. Um, this little difference right here allows for the PKM to have an advantage over the course of like medium to long range um, but however the rpd does have a little bit has one little statistic that it has it going for it that could mean a lot you know when you fight up against the pkm so moving on over to the damage we have for the pkm's 0 39 meters we have 48 damage to the head 35 to the neck 32 to the chest stomach and extremities extremities being the limbs and then moving on over to the rpd 0 to 40 meters every damage category is the same except for the chest damage where it has 35 instead of 32 so it has a slightly or slight advantage over the pkm in terms of chest damage and the chest i would argue is probably the most common point where people get hit in the game of warzone especially at range you could argue with me on that but i feel like the chest the middle part of the front of the body or not middle part of the body but damn near you know chest stomach i guess you could say that's the middle part of the body damn near the easiest thing to hit um, and, you know, it having a two, two, three bullet difference on the PKM is pretty significant. But, the PKM does have that fire rate. But then moving on over to the longer ranges, uh, for 39 meters and above for the PKM, we have 42 damage to the head, 30 to the neck, 28 to the chest, big stomach and extremities. And then the same stats for the RPD, except for, obviously, the chest damage, which is 30 instead of 28. So if you're going to use an RPD, your area of focus should be chest damage, but I got to be honest, if you're going to use an LMG, man, the PKM, in my opinion, is the clear-cut choice. Um, I honestly don't understand why people lean towards the RPD as much as they do. The RPD is a really great LMG, don't get me wrong, and obviously by damage, it's slightly better than the PKM um, towards the just, just the chest area because everything else is the same. But I mean, fire rate, it's much better. It has a bigger base mag by 25, and... It has a better bullet velocity with it having a 720 MS compared to the RPD 606 MS. The only thing that I could see why uh, the RPD is being chosen over the PKM is just mobility. And honestly, I think that's a pretty valid reason. Uh, mobility is a very, very important thing in this game. People like being fast. People like being able to not feel like a complete snail, tortoise, or whatever. Um, and... It's that like ADS time where the PKM has a 413 MS and the RPD's 340 MS uh, or has a 340 MS. It's just pretty significant, man, because that means that with the RPD, you're just a slightly faster snail. Because at the end of the day, man, you're using the LMG. Both these guns are very slow. And, you know, if you're, you're trying, when you're building the LMG, you're trying to have as less recoil as you can and just make it as fast of a weapon as you can and you know whether you use a a grip tape or a stock um or maybe even a tag or something like you're you're trying to find a way to make it mobile and just usable and i think the rpd has more opportunities of being you know faster than the pkm but i just think the pkm is just better than everything else again though um people lean towards rpd for movement that's okay um but like at the end of like you're you're using the SMG, you know, like more than likely, 99.9% uh, .9 of you guys are using SMGs with your LMGs. So they, I don't even think mobility matters too much. I guess the only statistics that matter would be pull-up speed and ADS speed because you know sometimes you do need to, you know, pull, hit a corner with the LMG and being able to pull it quicker than the other person's weapon. Um, which I think the RPD also has the advantage in that by a few seconds, milliseconds, not seconds, well maybe seconds, I don't know. Um, the whole seconds thing with these guns are pretty weird because literally all these are just, the difference between these guns and just like ADS speed and all that is just like milliseconds. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't want to be too confusing with those terminologies. So let's just say the RPD is slightly faster in a lot of aspects, pretty much all aspects like ADS speed and uh, pull up season and all that because you know, it's just, I don't know, for some reason it is. But, the PKM man and all that and most categories other than mobility and chest damage is pretty much better than the RPD and um, yeah man um, I guess this is this is my 
argument as to why the PKM is better than a PD, or at least better should be considered to be a just a primary weapon. Because I'm just trying to like shine some light on the weapon and get disrespected a lot, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people do know that the PKM is good, but like they use the RPD or just most use the RPD over the PKM. It's just kind of like weird because they're both very similar. They're like almost identical weapons. Um, so I just want the PKM to get a little more love since we're already using LMGs. Um, um, but yeah, man, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about both these LMGs. Which one do you prefer and why? Um, yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later and I'm out. Peace.